Hey everybody, how's it going? Today, I bring you the 2011 Hyundai Genesis Coupe 3.8 track. And this is gonna be a full in-depth tour of the Genesis. We'll start up, show the engine, get an exhaust clip and go over the performance data, and show you a bunch of the features on the interior as well as the exterior. And today I'm at Bob Mayberry Hyundai in Monroe, North Carolina. So, without further ado, Let's go ahead and start it up, let it run. This car comes equipped with a smart key access system, which allows you to keep the key fob in your pocket. You can unlock and unlock the vehicle by pressing the button on the door. As you can see, it's locked at the moment. Just press the button. Simple as that. It's the Silverstone exterior with black leather interior, six-speed manual transmission, aluminum sport pedals, keyless start, just put your foot on the brake and hit the button. Very nice. The 2011 has a couple nice notable quality improvements from the 2010 including softer leather wrapped steering wheel, cloth on the A pillars, as well as this dark metallic trim, which replaces the silver trim in the 2010 model. Dark chrome accents around the gauges, accents on the vents here, around here, as well as the door handles. Like I said, it is a six speed manual. All the way over and up for reverse. And it's going to come the headlights, fog lights, as well as the hazards. Both the windows are fully automatic. And let's check out the exterior, shall we? Upon closing the door, you'll notice that the car beeps back. That's the car detecting that the proximity key fob has left the interior of the vehicle. High intensity discharge projector headlamps. One way to tell the track model from the Grand Touring model is that the track model comes without the chrome inserts found right here on the Grand Touring. Also these 19 inch alloy wheels which are standard on the track model with Brimbo brakes. Rear tires are a little bit wider than the front, give it that little bit extra traction. Full power sunroof, LED turn signal mirrors, your standard spoiler that comes on the track model with third brake light, dual polished exhaust tips. The track model also loses the parking sensors found in the Grand Touring model. Let's go ahead and pop the hood. This Genesis Coupe comes with the 3.8 liter full overhead cam V6, 24 valve with variable valve timing. Puts out 306 horsepower at 6,300 RPM and 266 foot-pounds of torque at 4,700 RPM. It's rear-wheel drive with a limited slip differential, 17.2 gallon fuel tank, 
estimated miles per gallon are 17 city, 26 highway. A couple other nice improvements to the 2011 model are the slightly restyled doors. We're up here. You have this crease going along here and it's all a new padded material instead of the harder plastic that went across the whole door since. Also softer armrests, the nice padded material. And you still have the perforated trim here. It's your dark accent, infinity sound system, power windows, mirrors and locks, fuel cap and trunk release. You have a power sliding tilting driver's seat with manual recline and manual lumbar, side airbags. It is also perforated leather, aluminum door sills, traction control, and it does have a tilt steering wheel. Hey, let's go and see if she sounds. Fantastic factory sound. Instant miles per gallon and instant torque meter, standard on the Grand Touring and track model. Automatic climate control. Different zones. AC, front defrost, rear defrost, and recycling. One touch automatic mode. And you also have a picture of the Genesis Coupe track version up on the screen. You have a 10 speaker Infinity audio system putting out about 360 watts of power. Command, please. XM9. XM channel 9. As you can see, it does come equipped with a voice command system that's integrated throughout the radio, climate control, navigation, your hands free Bluetooth telephone, and so on and so forth. All those commands are listed in your owner's manual as well as within the system itself. Here's the screen where you can pair a phone dial it on the screen. Very easy when you have a Bluetooth capable phone. Navigation. Also very simple to use. CD player, MP3 compatible, vehicle settings, clock, navigation voice setup, CD auxiliary, stitch console, your power outlet, as well as your optional iPod adapter cable, USB and auxiliary inputs. The light will automatically shut itself off when you close the visor. 
card holder. Auto dimming rear view mirror, integrated compass and garage home link. Padded sunglass container. Like I said, it's a one touch open and close automatic sunroof. Heated seats, the driver and passenger. Power outlet, place to put your key fob to charge it up. It's a leather stitch shift boot. Your standard cup holders. Your radio controls, cruise control, voice command system as I showed you earlier. As well as your hands-free Bluetooth telephone controls are all located on the steering wheel. Side bolster and grip extensions. Intermittent wipers. Trip computer. Very nicely equipped car. Check out the back seat real quick. Hop on in on the other side. It is all perforated. And the back seat does fold. Also, with 2011, you have an integration of coat hooks in the back. So, let's go ahead and shut her down. Go ahead and check out the rest of the vehicle. Locks in place. Place to put your fuel cap. It's a reasonable trunk for a coupe. Pretty good size opening. A little short on load height as far as this is concerned. But it extends back a little bit fold the back seat down and you greatly increase the space spare tire new handle to grab and pull the trunk down Manual passenger seat. You can slide the seat forward like this, or there's a handle on the back for back passengers that makes it easier to get in and out. back seats are comfortable if you can actually fit back here. People a little over probably five and a half feet or so might have a little bit of time, hard of a time squeezing into the back. But other than that, nice, soft, supportive seats. It's a world of difference seeing the dark trim in here with the dark chrome accents. Gives it a lot more of a sporty appearance. And with the added luxury touches of all the soft touches. Makes it a very attractive car and an attractive price. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this in-depth tour on the 2011 Hyundai Genesis Coupe 3.8 track. Be sure to stay tuned next time, there's a lot more where that came from. Take care everybody.